Hey guys, it's Michael Kumi here. In today's video, I want to introduce you to the cold plunge, a cold plunging experience like I've never had before. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you click on the little alert button so you get notified when I decide to freeze off my nuts again. Now, I should also mention that I have an in-depth review with all the benefits of cold plunging on my blog. I'm going to link that down below, so check that out if you want to have more information. But for today's video, I'm going to do the review while inside of the cold plunge. So it's going to be a shorter video, but I hope you like it. All right, so let's talk about quickly the benefits of cold plunging because there are several. First of all, it makes you mentally tougher. I mean, that's the obvious thing because getting in here, it's tough, especially if it's cold and nasty outside like today. The second one, it boosts your mood. Anytime I get out of the cold plunge, I just feel great because it releases certain hormones that make you feel happy. Um, the other thing is it makes you more resilient because this is a positive stressor for the body. The body tends to adapt and get out stronger on the other end, it's called hormesis. And so it's a big boost in resilience, in mental strength and many other things. It also balances your immune system. It actually upregulates certain immune, immune factors to make you more resistant to disease. It gives you more energy. When you get out of here, you have all the energy in the world. You feel like for at least a couple of hours, like there's an aura around your body and it, it just feels great and good overall. The other thing is, and that's very important, it helps you manage stress because getting in here, when you get in here, your parasymp uh, sorry, your sympathetic nervous system gets, in o gets into overdrive. It wants you to get out of here because you know, you're in a fight or flight response and managing that response, in my case, I do it with breathing, um, is a great exercise to help you better manage those situations that you can then apply outside of the cold plunge. So if you get into a fight or flight response, if you get anxious, if you get like a panic attack or whatever outside of the cold plunge, you have the skills then to manage it, to deal with it and to downregulate your sympathetic nervous system. It also helps with sleep. If I cold plunge before going to bed, I sleep better. It helps with cognition. There are so many benefits. So check out my blog post that I'm gonna link down below for the top 10 benefits of cold plunging. Now with that said, let's get to the actual cold plunge. I first plunged um, in, a, in another model um, in 2021 at a biohacking conference. And when I did that, I knew that I had to get a cold plunge. So I thought about, well, what is the most cost-effective way to get that plunging experience and having it home? And so I thought about maybe building one myself, maybe out of an old chest freezer or just a barrel. You know, just fill it up with water, add some ice, and you're ready to go. The problem is I didn't like either of those two approaches. For once, in the in case of the chest freezer, it's a safety issue because if you forget to unplug the chest freezer when you get into the when you jump into it, there is a risk of electrocuting yourself. And I didn't want to take that risk. The second issue is related to water maintenance, because if you don't have a filtration system, then you have to change the water, maybe once a week or more frequently, depending on how often you plunge. Plus you have to get a steady supply of ice in the case of a barrel. And all of that made it really unattractive to build one myself. And so I looked around and the problem is all of those all in one cold plunges are fairly expensive. The one I looked at first cost almost $10,000. I'm like, that's so much money, you know, I, I can't justify spending that. And then I stumbled across the cold plunge, the one that I'm using right now. And it's half the price. It's less than $5,000. It's still a good chunk of money, but it comes with everything I wanted. It's a very slick acrylic tub. It lasts forever. You can use it indoors and outdoors. It cools the water down to 39 degrees. So that's what I'm currently sitting in. It has three stages of water filtration, a regular sediment filter, and then it uses um, ozone and UV to filter the water and to keep it healthy and clean. And the result of that is that I don't have to change the water. Well, I have to change it maybe every six months or so. That's not a big deal at all. But beyond the water exchange every six months or so, I have very little maintenance to do. Um, it is very, has very powerful filtration, especially the ozone and the UV take very good care of the water. I did still get the maintenance kit, with, which comes with uh, six sediment filters, so I replace that filter once a month or so. And I occasionally treat the water with uh, chlorine and bromine-free um, treatments. 
that are completely you know healthy and friendly to your skin you're not going to get itchy skin or anything and i put those in every couple of weeks i test the water once a week to make sure everything is is good with a test strip but beyond that there is nothing that i have to do and i really like that i also appreciate that the um the top here is slightly slanted so it has like a backrest that i can use to be more comfortable um, some of the other cold plungers that i have tried have an upright um, you know side wall and it makes it a little bit uncomfortable especially if you want to try to relax and breathe slow down your breathing um, with a slanted back here makes it so much easier um, from a delivery perspective what i really liked about the cold plungers um, it got delivered with fedex and it was kind of a white glove delivery meaning that the guy put the cold plunge right here where i wanted to have it so they didn't drop it off in the driveway or in front of the garage and they took all of the trash back with them so i didn't have to worry about you know filling up our trash cans with all the cardboard and styrofoam and all the stuff all the packaging materials i really appreciated that um and yeah beyond that i mean it, the water gets 39 degrees cold that's plenty cold as far as i'm concerned um, I used to plunge in like 33 degree cold water. I was literally sitting on a block of ice the first couple of times I did it. And it was cold obviously, but I can't really say it felt significantly colder. I mean, maybe if you do it side by side, you can feel a difference. But as far as I'm concerned, the 39 degrees are plenty cold. Um, but you don't have to start with 39. That's the cool thing that chiller that runs right next to here um, can cool the water down to i think it's between 39 and 90 degrees it doesn't heat the water however if it's hot outside like we are in georgia here and the water gets warmer you could set it to 60 degrees if you want to start out easy you know ease yourself into the cold plunging uh, it's actually one of the best things you can do don't plunge into the coldest water from the get-go ease it in and so you can set the chiller to 60 degrees or maybe 55 or 50 and kind of ease yourself in and um that's really cool i appreciate that um, beyond that the setup was fairly simple again fedex delivered it right here dropped it off here all i had to do is hook up two of the hoses to the chiller um, fill in the top with water that took a couple of minutes um, th the plunge actually comes with a charcoal filter that you can attach to your garden hose so you get the filtered water into your plunge and not you know the regular tap water which might be contaminated might have stuff in there that makes water maintenance and more difficult um, took me about six plunges or so to really get used to it but after that it's just you know it's it's it feels good it just feels good you can stay as long um, you know until you feel shivering you can stay in there um, and i do that typically my default plunge is like three minutes and um, and yeah i make this part of my daily routine i love it it's a great investment in fact, the cold plunge together with the infrared sauna that we got, those were two of the best investments we've ever done. So many health benefits, makes you feel so much better. And I encourage you to try it yourself. Maybe start with a cold shower, you know, if you're not quite ready for cold plunging. But if you are, check out the cold plunge. It's the best plunge that gives you the best value for your money. So let's, let's wrap it up with just a quick recap uh, with pricing and warranty. So again, the pricing is just under $5,000. I think it's four, seven something. Um, I'm going to have the exact information down there. Um, warranty is one year. Um, the only thing you want to make sure is when you plug in your cold plunge, make sure it's a, uh, an outlet that is either outdoor rated and or has a uh, ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI. Make sure everything is safe. But beyond that, it's a great investment. You should definitely check it out. It's been nine minutes here now since I've been in the cold plunge. I'm ready to get out. My nuts are freezing and I'm ready to get into a hot shower. Until next time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know in the, in the comments what I could have done better. Until next time. I'm not gonna lie, today was freaking cold. <laughs> my nuts are gone. I'm officially a woman now. And my fingers are cold. That's really, you know, fingers on my toes. Those are the things that get cold. But I gotta tell you, in a few minutes, when I'm warm again, I'm gonna feel awesome. I already feel good. Um, and you know, I always, I always tell myself, you know, if you ever fall into a frozen lake or something, I'm not gonna die. At least for the first, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever I've spent in the cold plunge today.